Bizarre and imaginative vehicles are always eye-catching no matter how cool or ugly we think they may be. Pedal-powered or jet-powered, the mix in this video is bound to have something you'll wish you could own. I'm Reacher. Whether it's on land, sea, or in the air, these 15 crazy and innovative vehicles are nothing short of mind-blowing. Number 15. Coming out of France is the limited production Lazarus LM847. This four-wheel motorcycle runs just under nine feet long and three feet wide while weighing in at a hefty 881 pounds. Power for this behemoth comes from a 4.7 liter V8 Maserati engine pushing out 470 horsepower. Each of the four tires are mounted on individual swing arms allowing them to lean when going through turns. The bike's outrageous design leaves everything exposed which creates an even more intimidating look. Anyone interested should contact the company ASAP as this one is limited to 10 units with half of those already spoken for. Number 14. Recapturing British motoring history, the Morgan Motor Company has crafted the Morgan three-wheeler. The two-passenger vehicle retains the Morgan's unique driving experience while updating it for the 21st century. The vehicle features a tubular steel chassis, a handcrafted ash wood frame, and an open-air coach-built aluminum body having a total weight just over 1,100 pounds. It's powered by an exposed 2,000cc V-twin engine producing 82 horsepower. This, coupled with the five-speed gearbox, allows for a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Number 13. Though it took three years for German-based Horton to develop the prototype HX2, the aircraft has finally taken to the skies. Composed of carbon and fiberglass, the lightweight two-seater has neither a fuselage nor a tail. Power comes from a single Rotax engine behind the cockpit. The final product is expected to reach speeds of 170 miles per hour with a range around 1,000 miles. The company plans to make a four-seat version as well as testing alternative methods of propulsion. Number 12. Designed and built in Switzerland, the Woe Kart is like a go-kart for the sea. Excellent maneuverability and fast acceleration are just some of the prime attributes of this unique personal watercraft. The monocoque structure has a catamaran-style layout, allowing it to make fast 90-degree turns. It has a steering wheel instead of the standard handlebars for watercraft of this size, along with a foot-controlled throttle and brake. A centrally located 70-horsepower engine provides instant acceleration up to 46 miles per hour while maintaining stability no matter the water conditions. Number 11. Designers at Fuller Moto of Atlanta, Georgia employed some outside-of-the-box thinking when they designed the 2029. This one-of-a-kind project was built from scratch with no blueprints, utilizing 3D metal printing along with the traditional fabrication process. The foundation of the bike is an all-electric FXS from Zero Motorcycles that's been flipped upside down. In doing so, this provided a lower battery placement and better alignment between the motor and wheels. The body is formed from aluminum and titanium. And just like the 1929 Majestic that it's styled after, it fully encloses the chassis. The bike was a commissioned project and is currently on display at the Haas Moto Museum in Dallas, Texas. Number 10. The newest addition from UK-based BAC is a one-person vehicle that still manages to be street legal while looking straight up Formula One. The aptly named Mono has a low, sleek body with a centrally located open cockpit. Staying true to form, it has a racing-style seat with a four-point harness and a steering wheel having all kinds of fancy buttons. Behind the seat is a 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine pushing out 332 horsepower. This, along with the light weight of 1,257 pounds, allows for a top speed of 170 miles per hour. 
The overall design makes it the perfect car for those needing an excuse not to ride share or if you just want to spoil yourself. Number 9. Combining jet power with cutting edge construction, safety, and style is the essence of the Flores LAR01. The aircraft has a monocoque carbon fiber cabin with room for five along with a dash mounted touchscreen navigation system controlling the single jet engine. The lightweight build and excellent aerodynamics allow for a cruising speed around 480 miles per hour with a range just under 2,000 miles. With passenger safety foremost, it has an excellent lift to drag ratio for extended gliding and a dual parachute system in case of engine failure. Number 8. Looking like something out of the 1920s, the Culeo Velo is a human-powered velomobile with electric assist via a built-in pedal-powered generator. Classified as a pedelec, the vehicle can be driven without a license. Although it's low power, it's still able to reach a top speed of 28 miles per hour with a range of 75 miles. The vehicle has an aluminum frame with a modular shell consisting of impact-resistant foam panels. Inside is tandem seating for two with handlebar style steering. Standard features include a Bluetooth radio, a reverse camera, and remote controlled ambient lighting. I'm Allie and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time. By looking at just these images, do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number seven. Bridging the divide above and below the water is the Platypus Blue Ocean. The French built watercraft looks like a pontoon, but a surprise feature is the center section, which lowers and lets passengers drop five feet below and explore underwater. The semi submersible caters to those with no diving experience, creating a safe way to explore the subaquatic environment. Before submerging, users don a mask that allows a full field of vision with air provided by compressors located in the floats. The hybrid boat has easy to use straightforward controls and a rear cockpit so the pilot can monitor the passengers while driving. It's powered by two 50 horsepower outboard engines, enabling it to cruise at 21 miles per hour on the surface and three and a half miles per hour when underwater. Number six. Another custom design based on the 1929 Majestic is the Revival 6 from the mines at Austin's Revival Cycles. And just like the earlier mentioned futuristic 2029, this one was also commissioned by the Haas Moto Museum of Dallas, Texas. The similarities end there though, as this bike utilizes a Honda CBX 1000cc six cylinder for its power source. It also goes completely naked, having no body panels at all. The stunning result features a swept back low body riding on 28 inch tires. Although it has modern touches, the overall look of this one is straight out of the early 1900s. Number five. A commuter's dream of flying over gridlocked rush hour freeway traffic could soon be a reality. Dallas-based Astro Aeronautics is developing the Elroy, a short-haul electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. The bubble-shaped drone offers an almost 360-degree view from the cabin's two seats. Using the touch flight control system, the destination is input on a touchscreen interface. Once this is done, the aircraft utilizes a secure 4G network for guidance. The vehicle's two arms have a total of 16 rotors helping reach a top speed around 43 miles per hour with a 25 minute flight time. Number four. Taking an ATV to the extreme and showing off a new fluid drive technology was the aim of the Ferox company as they developed the Azurus. The six-wheeled two-passenger vehicle can climb over the roughest terrain using a rocker-style suspension similar to the Mars Rover. 
It's offered with a choice of a combustion engine or electric motor connected to a pump channeling fluid through piping in the swing arms to the end wheel motors. The result is a low pressure, high torque combination offering a smooth and immediate acceleration. Number three. French manufacturer Neuron has unveiled the EV1, a motorcycle having an organically curved wood skeleton wrapped around a centrally located cylindrical battery. Unique isn't a strong enough word to describe this one. The battery, which also acts as a structural part of the chassis, provides a range up to 186 miles. The 75 kilowatt motor is electronically limited to a top speed of 137 miles per hour. The company is only producing a limited run of 12 units with delivery expected in 2021. Number two. Forgoing the need for a trailer, the X100 from France's Iguana Yachts is a boat with a little bit of a tank built into it. The 31 and a half foot long boat looks like any other when it's out on the water. It's built on a rigid inflatable hull having twin outboard 300 horsepower engines. These allow the craft to reach speeds up to 55 miles per hour with a range around 150 miles. When it's time to leave the water, integrated tracks on each side fold down to provide a seamless transition to land. These allow the driver to traverse terrain as steep as 45 degrees. Number one. What started in 2005 as a wild idea finally saw its completion in 2018 as a vehicle aptly named the Limo Jet. I don't have enough time to tell you everything about it, so I'll keep it simple. It's a Learjet, on wheels. And though it seems more akin to something seen on a drag strip, this amalgam is fully street legal. Inside is nothing short of pure luxury, having recessed lighting running the length of the floor and ceiling. Red and black leather seats run along one side, while opposite is a vast array of electronics and some much needed cup holders. Other features include an integrated sound system and a large TV on the back wall. All in all, it weighs just over 12,500 pounds and measures 42 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 11 and a half feet high. Power comes from an 8.1 liter Chevy Vortec V8 engine, but I couldn't even begin to tell you how fast it will actually go. If anyone wants to buy this thing, feel free to let me know so I can be the new best friend you never knew you needed.